I've always really loved Voltaire's book, and I think I read it when I was quite young, and I've reread it every few years, and it's always made me laugh and made me think, and it's very fresh every time. When I was rereading the book and, and rereading and rereading and thinking about it for, for this play, um, I realised that what Dr Pangloss, uh, Condi's tutor, was talking about as optimism, optimism was a very new word when Voltaire wrote the book. It was only 20 years old, and it had a very specific meaning, which was that of optimal, that this is the optimal world, that God could have created all these different alternative worlds and decided to put us in this one because it was the best, the most optimal world. So I thought, oh, parallel universes, parallel worlds, and that seemed quite contemporary to me. Novels like Cloud Atlas or even things like Doctor Who, you know, alternative universes, but also things like Charlie Kaufman films, Adaptation, which is specifically about adapting a book. You get those parallel stories happening in different worlds. There might be different realities that we could step in and out of. Once I had that thought, that sort of gave me the structure of our play. So it's almost sort of five 20-minute plays within one within one play. We go to five different worlds with their own rules and their own sort of dramatic styles. We start off in 1755 in the palace of a countess uh, where uh, Condide is shown a play about his own life, a play within a play. Then we go to a 21st century hotel reception room where an 18-year-old girl has been given her 18th birthday party with her family and that ends in utter disaster. And then we go to the um, offices of... Um, a filmmaker, a film producer, who's making a film about the events that we saw in scene two. Then we go with Fondi to El Dorado, to this almost perfect land, but then finally he escapes from. And then we go a little bit into the future, to the Pangloss Institute, uh, where the gene for optimism has been identified, and Pangloss is, is planning that uh, all future generations will be genetically optimistic, that, that nobody will have the possibility of being... Uh, a pessimist.